Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is a subscriber request video and as you can probably tell, it's a tour of my handbags. Now you guys have been asking and begging for this video for a really long time. To be really honest, I was really nervous and uncomfortable about making this video because I didn't want to be seen as recommending that you spend all your hard-earned money on designer handbags. That's not what I'm about. Me, personally, I love beautifully made handbags. And I actually reward myself with one handbag once a year, depending on whether I've achieved my goals. And these aren't just financial goals, but they're my health and fitness goals, my personal life um, development and personal growth goals, um, any other sort of aspects in my life that I'm really trying to build and improve on. And if I achieve those, I then allow myself to go and buy one beautiful handbag, which I have planned and prepared for throughout the year, researched, and most importantly, saved up. Whilst I might use my credit card to pay for the bag to collect frequent flyer points, I'm actually using cash to buy that bag. I will never borrow money to buy something like a luxury good that just appreciates in value. Please understand that these are the rewards from my successes and I always prioritize the achievement and the success and the personal growth behind me before I reward myself. All right, let me share with you each of these bags and the story behind them. All right, starting with this bag here. It is a leopard print bag, bag by Dolce & Gabbana. I found this in the store and absolutely fell in love with it. I'm particularly fussy when it comes to a leopard print bag and it can look really tacky if you're not careful. Now I did some research online and managed to find it for about a quarter or a third of the price on a second hand website. So it's been a fantastic buy. It's a really great size, it's great for traveling. Um, I can throw a jumper in there and my bottle of water and it's really comfortable, it's extremely well made. This handbag is about five, maybe six years old. The next bag I wanna show you guys is actually a state of escape bag. Now, these are great for um, young families because you can throw them in the washing machine and they come out pretty much looking pretty much brand new. And they're also vegan, they're neoprene. So there are absolutely no harm or cruelty to animals in these whatsoever. And they're incredibly light, they fit a lot of stuff, and they're also great for traveling. The next bag I wanna show you isn't actually a handbag as such, but it's my overnight bag. And this bag has got to be about, I think, 10 years old. This bag has been around the world with me, and it's a great bag for taking onto an aeroplane because it fits so much, uh, but it also makes me feel quite chic. Now, I was quite young when I bought this bag, um, and my parents contributed towards, towards it as part of my birthday present. And I love what I love the most about this bag is um, the history behind it. I'll never get rid of this bag, but also Louis Vuitton do the monogramming, which really makes it personal. So I um, just adore this. The next bag is this Celine um, bag. I can't remember what the style is called. Um, and I bought this through an outlet. Um, and again, I got it at, I think about 30 to 40% off. It's a fantastic color. And one thing you'll notice about all these bags are they're pretty much, most of them are neutrals or if they vary away from a neutral color palette, it matches my capsule wardrobe collection because all of these bags work with most of the clothing in my wardrobe, which works really well because when I'm in a hurry, I can quickly grab something and I know that it's going to work. The next bag is a bag I again bought secondhand. Um, I think I got this one on eBay. It's a Louis Vuitton, I think it may be called the Thompson bag, and this style is actually no longer made. So if you want this bag, um, I will link as much as a bag that I can find that's very similar to this, if not the same. You'd have to find a secondhand website. This bag is a designer bag. It cost me, I think, a couple of hundred dollars maximum. And it's great for walking dogs because I can put dog bags in, my mobile phone, my keys in my wallet. And I have two hands free because it's a crossover. My next bag is um, my Chanel 2.55. Again, I bought this secondhand. And this bag got to be around about maybe eight years old. It is still in style, and the funny thing about this bag is it's actually gone up in value. I bought this when the Australian dollar was really strong, so I paid roughly around $4,000, and I believe these now retail for over $8,000. So it's probably one of the few bags that actually has not just held their value, but actually gone up in value. And again, this is such a timeless handbag, it never goes out of style. This was actually made in February in 1955, which is why it's called a 2.55. And I love the history behind this bag and what the crisscrossing represents, the chain of the, um, of the uh, nuns um, in Coco Chanel's orphanage where she grew up. This means so much back to me. And whenever I look at this bag, 
I think about how exciting my future is and the things that I've personally overcome. The next two bags I actually pretty much bought simultaneously. I was going in to buy one bag and I ended up walking out with two. Again, I paid for these in cash, but I saw a very rare opportunity to buy something I knew it would be really hard to find on the secondhand market. And when you know your bags, like when I researched my shares and investments, I knew that it was a great buy. So I actually bought these two simultaneously, paid for them in cash, and it was after achieving a huge financial goal. So it was a big reward to myself. And again, I, I always knew that I was looking out for two bags in this color and in this style. They're both in the caviar, um, so they're really durable. Um, I'm really careful with these because I love them as I might love all of them. So I'm particularly careful with this one as to where I put. And on that note of taking care of my stuff, all these bags are stored away in um, my closet. Most of them still live in their um, soft bags. And I always make sure I regular, regularly clean them. And if they need to be fixed or altered, I'll take them to the bootmaker immediately. I really do love, value, use and appreciate all of these bags. The next bag is a Louis Vuitton bag. Now, I had a bit of an incident with my original black Louis Vuitton tote, which was very classic. All the glue came out of the bag and went all over my jacket and Tom's shirt. It made a huge mess. I went into Louis Vuitton and they immediately took it off me, apologized, and said there was a fault in um, a line of these bags. They gave me a credit note, which was more than what I actually originally paid for the bag. So instead of buying the same bag again because I was worried that that would happen again, I decided to get this one instead. And again, this is a great bag. I can wear it two different ways. And it's a really nice, fun, summery color that goes with most of the colors that I wear in my capsule wardrobe. The next bag I want to show you is something also really special. I'll never forget buying this bag. And it is a Louis Vuitton Disco Soho bag. I bought it in Paris and it was the one thing I allowed myself to get in Paris. And that trip was a really special trip because it was a trip that I took Rocco to Paris because I'd never been there before. And it was an amazing journey and experience for Rocco and I, full of many testing but bonding moments. And this is the one thing I allowed myself to get. And but buying um, the bags in Europe is often cheaper because you get the VAT back. You've got to make sure you know how to get the VAT back before you leave the country. But again, this by using this opportunity in a strong Australian dollar at the time, I actually bought this at quite a good discount. The next bag I want to show you is actually a bag that Tom bought me. Now, Tom is not into design of goods at all, thinks handbags are a ridiculous waste of money. And um, he really blew me away when he bought me this for my birthday this year. And um, I was amazed at how well he picked this bag. I absolutely love it. I think I've used this bag um, pretty much 80% since giving it to me. Um, it's navy blue. I absolutely love wearing navy blue. Again, it's got two straps, so if I can carry Rocco and have two hands free, or I can just have, unclip it and hold it like a tote like this. It's got zip locks in here so I can keep the sections, things zipped away safely. And again, it's just really classic. And I wear a lot of navy blue, so this really works for me, but I yeah, absolutely adore this, so thank you, Tom. The next bag I wanna show you is a bag I actually got in Lebanon, in Beirut. It's made by the prisoners. Now, what they do, they have this special program to help I guess educate and give a greater opportunity for success in life once the women get out of jail, but they teach them how to make this bag and they use this particular type of crocheting and stitching to make a whole range of bags. It's a fantastic program and initiative by the government and also by Sarah's Bags who actually makes a whole range of these and I will link in the video description box her website so you can see all the other bags that have been made by these women. The next two handbags I'm about to show you are actually two handbags that are now for sale. As part of living a minimalistic lifestyle and the journey of minimalism, I realized there are a couple of bags that I don't simply use and they deserve to go to a better home where someone will love, value, use and appreciate them. So the first bag that I'm going to be selling is this Louis Vuitton one. I bought this from the Louis Vuitton store in Capri. It's a fantastic bag, it just doesn't get used by me and I don't feel right holding on to it. Now this bag is a fantastically well-made bag. It is really beautiful. It's a timeless piece. They actually still sell this in the store and I will be linking in the video description box below the website or the account where I will actually be selling this bag. Along with it will also be this Valley handbag, which I've had for a long time, but again, just doesn't work with my wardrobe anymore. So if you're looking at picking up a new handbag and you're interested in either of these two, make sure you click on the links below. And then the final two handbags that I want to show you are two very classic ones, two different but very versatile black handbags. Every woman needs a fantastically well-made black handbag. 
Now the first one is my Chanel Leboy um, Phantom Handbag. This is a great bag. Again, it's so incredibly versatile. I can wear it as a crossover over my shoulder or I can double up the chain and put it over my shoulder. I absolutely love this. It's in a fantastic size. Great for going out or just simply out and about during the day. Love this one. And then the final one is my Givenchy Nightingale. Now this handbag probably is about maybe eight or nine years old. It took forever to save up for this bag at the time, but it's just a really great casual bag. It's quite slouchy, which is very different from my normal structured handbags. Again, really versatile with two different straps, which I can unclip at any time. Great size. And considering it's leather and there's a lot of hardware, it's actually quite light. But again, I love this bag. I would never get rid of it. It just works with everything that I need and want. Now, before I end this video, I want to remind you that I've already made you that wardrobe tour video that you also requested for so long. So make sure you click on the card above here so you can watch that video as soon as you finish this one. I also want to reinforce that I do not recommend you spend all your hard-earned money on handbags. Make sure you buy what you love, value, use and appreciate, but take a balanced approach. Make sure you have prioritized getting out of debt, staying out of debt, having emergency money, investing, putting some money away for your retirement, either through super, your New Zealand super or your 401k plan, but make sure you prioritize your financial health before you reward yourself with these types of luxuries. And make sure you do your research, take care of these things. My mother still has some of her designer Gucci handbags from when she was in her early 20s. And these bags are actually still in style and because she's taken such great care of these bags, they actually still look brand new. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you click on the video description box below because you can see links of where you can buy some of these bags. I've actually found listed some websites that you can go to where you can look at these bags and find them at a discounted price because if you buy them pre-loved, you can save a lot of money. And I have absolutely no shame in buying something that's pre-loved, especially when it helps save money that I can contribute towards the thousand dollar project. All right, everyone, have a fantastic week. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do and make sure that notification button is switched on because I have the shoe tour coming up next. Ciao for now.